What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grizz. We're in Black Ops 4 Zombies, and these are all the working glitches in update 1.26. This is the updated 2023 version, and includes all the maps except Classified and Dead of the Night due to the PlayStation error CE32753-0 currently preventing all PlayStation 4 players from downloading Black Ops 4. I hope a fix deploys soon, but we're going to continue, so be sure to subscribe for more glitches in this glitch series, and activate the bell icon if you want to level up fast in zombies. And if you can, comment down below what's your current level in Black Ops 4 Zombies. I'm currently Prestige Master, level 1000, and doing these videos for you guys, so let me know down below. Starting off on the map Voyage of Despair, we're going to work our way up. This is the mid-deck glitch. So in the middle of the ship here, on the very side, you're going to notice a metal pillar. To the right of that, we're going to sprint forward, jump up, and crouch. And when you do so, you're going to land on this little ledge. And we're going to need to center ourselves sort of to the right a little bit. You're going to see right here, I'm going to move to the right because on the upper left, we don't have an indicator of where we're at, so it needs to say prominent port deck. All right, so once it says that, the zombies are all going to pile up right behind you in a nice little pile up. And this is the only really working glitch on the map at the moment. Um, so use it as you will. There are better ones. Moving over to the map 9, we're going to get our audio settings correct. Voice settings, music settings, cinematic settings, drop it all to zero. And let's go ahead and get started. Right away, we're not going to leave the gated entrance. We need to get to round 9. And as soon as it turns to round 9, you're going to start counting. Listen to the chants. We need 24 chants. So every single chant is a count. All the way to 24. Line yourselves up to the edge of the gate. And on the 24th chant, you're going to move forward with the gas just barely touching you, and the gate should stay open towards the very top. Round 9 is a max ammo round, so go ahead and kill the tigers. They're going to roll in slowly, and if you do so correctly, the gate should close down just a little bit more so the zombies can't enter it if you've done it correctly. I did this at least 30 different times, and I just couldn't get it to work, but I know it works. I have seen people do this. So this is the best footage uh, I was able to get, but it does work. Moving over to the map, Blood of the Dead. Now these glitches are going to start getting good. You're going to need Ragnaroks, all right? So make sure your special is the Ragnaroks. We're going to pull it out right here on this pipe in the powerhouse. We're going to step away from it a little bit, and we're going to slam forward onto this pipe. When you do so correctly, the zombies are all going to pile up right underneath you. However, there are two modes to this. If you do it incorrectly, they're going to swipe at you. So hop back down, hop back into this glitch, and it should work. It's like every other time that it works. And this is a really easy one to get into, and you absolutely can get to round 100 and level up them weapons. The only things you really have to get done is turn on power, unlock Pack-a-Punch, and build the shield. If you play this map enough, those are some basics. Um, and then unlocking power in this room in the powerhouse you're already ready to go okay so in this section we're going to talk about classified in dead of the night there are two really good glitches on the map classified but like i said at the beginning of the video playstation 4 with their latest system update screwed up how we're going to download games no matter what you do no matter what you do on ps4 right now you're going to be getting this error code on any of the games that you're trying to download. Some of them might work, but a majority are not going to. So I'm not able to do the classified map or Dead of the Night. Don't worry about Dead of the Night. There's no good glitches on that map anyway. Moving over to the map Ancient Evil, this is the God Mode glitch, and this one is awesome. It absolutely works. We're going to need to spawn Pegasus in. Go ahead and pick up the saddle. That's really all you need is the saddle to spawn Pegasus in. What we're going to need to do is bring a zombie over so we can start taking damage. On the last hit, we need to ride Pegasus as he's swiping us down. 
and you should see reviving right there and you can go ahead and skip the cutscene you don't have to watch the cutscene go ahead and skip that sucker and if you do this right you're gonna spawn right back where you just about were to go down and boom we're in God mode just like that. It is that easy, fellas. You can actually restart the map if you screw up, do it over again. But once you got it, you got it. Go ahead and go to a wall weapon. You can't go get Pack-a-Punch, though. That's the really crappy thing. So you're going to want to be able to have your gobble gums ready or just simply buy wall weapons, get to those high rounds. Awesome glitch. Moving over to the map Alpha Omega, we got two good glitches on this map. The first glitch is the Shed Glitch. You just need your Ragnaroks. On the top of this deck, we're going to sprint jump off and then slam onto the top of the Shed. At the peak of the jump, that's when you slam and you're going to move forward right on top of this Shed and all the zombies are going to pile up where you last jumped off the deck. Now even though this is a good pile up glitch, you can't get power ups. So no max ammos, no goodies. Uh, that's why the other glitch is 10 times better, but this is a good one. The next glitch on this map is the garage door glitch. So right in this area here, right where the pyramid is, we're on that garage door. Okay, So you need to pull out your Ragnaroks and you need to sprint jump against the wall panel right here. And we're going to move up to the right as we're jumping. All right, and that's how we're going to slam up on top of the garage door. So we're sprint jumping right on this little pillar here, and then we're jumping a little to the right and slamming on top of the garage door. And once you're up here, you're up here, and you're going to find out this is really easy to get into. And you got a little bit of wiggle room, all right? You can move to the left about that far, move back to the right to where you can really see where you're going to fall off. But uh, once you get your weapons pack punched, um, you're ready to go. Really, really easy glitch to get into and very fun for high rounds. A real easy trick to conserve ammo is to have the Wraith Fire grenades on and that powers up your Ragnarok so you can just keep the cycle going. Moving over to the final map here, Tagged or Tote, and we're going to make our way up to the decontainment area and this is the Showers glitch. With the Ragnaroks, we're going to sprint forward and jump up and slam on top of the shower. So at the peakity peak of the jump, we're sprint jumping, sprint, jump, slam. And if you slam correctly, you'll be right on top of the showers. And you can actually move all the way around this sucker. There's a platform here that we're standing on top of. But the zombies pile up right underneath you and none of them attack you. So you're not going to be taking damage while you're up here. All you got to worry about is having enough ammo to keep making it to the next round. And you will collect power-ups, so max ammos, you're definitely going to get them. Next up, we have ourselves the cave glitch. So right out here in front of uh, the lighthouse, right where the pond is on the very left side, we're going to edge our way here, pop our Ragnaroks, and we're going to sprint jump forward and slam right here on top of this cave. There's actually a ledge right here we could jump on top of. And right where we jumped off, the zombies are going to pile up right underneath us. Now, the unfortunate thing about this glitch is you can't collect power-ups. You're going to have to jump down and hop back up here again. So make sure you got full Ragnaroks if you're going to be doing that. You don't want to be getting into any trouble while you're down there. So you want to be able to hop right back in here. Um, the other glitch, though, that I'm going to show you, you can collect power-ups. All right, so the final glitch on the map tagged or toten is the window glitch. So right on top of this window here at spawn, we're going to pull out our Ragnaroks and we're going to sprint right into the bricks right here in this corner. And we're going to jump slam to the left. So we're sprinting straight ahead and we're going to jump at the peaky peak of the jump. We're going to slam and it's going to land us right on top of this window. And you're going to be able to stay right here. This is a really nice spot. And if the zombie dies right below you, you can collect the power up from that zombie. So I really dig this glitch. This is one of the better ones on the map. And as you can see in the gameplay I recorded, this is new gameplay, by the way. I recorded it this week. Uh, I'm constantly using the Wraith Fire Grenades, so I'm recycling the energy right back into my Ragnaroks. And by using your Ragnaroks, you can get a lot of zombie kills. And the Wraith Fire Grenades helps you keep up and conserve ammo. But that's going to do it for this video, fellas. That is all the working glitches in Update 1.26. 
Hopefully Sony puts out a new update to fix this system error that we're all dealing with here on PlayStation 4. And we can download Black Ops 4. Um, it's kind of a hassle, but be sure to subscribe for more glitches in this glitch series. And activate that bell notification, man, if you want to level up fast in zombies. See you next time, fellas. Violent out.